Hi everyone, Jonathan here. Today we have a really bad weather outside, so I'm taking the opportunity to go go through some of my gear. And a question that pops up from time to time is uh, how to spool your own reel with some braided line. Uh, many people can feel insecure about this, but it's not so hard to do this procedure by yourself. So today I will walk you through on how I spool my own reels with some braided line. So I have the ETX from Okuma. This is a 2500 size and it's going to be used for my perch fishing setup. Uh, and it needed some braid, so it's a good opportunity to show you how I do. So let's get started. So the way I like to spool a spinning reel is by start to put some some meters of nylon in the bottom of the spool. And uh, some people like to use duct tape or insulation tape. And actually the ETX has like a sandpaper stripe uh, on the arbor itself. So, so the braid won't glide, but uh, I will show you anyway to pre-spool it with some nylon. And uh, it, the reason of it is that the braided line won't spin around the arbor itself. So uh, it's, it's a good, I think it's a good way to, to start with some nylon in the bottom. So these are the tools that we're going to need today. A pair of scissors, some nylon line, of course the braided line, a small piece of a, of a towel, the lower part of a rod, and a bucket of water. So if you have a, the lower part of a rod to connect your, your reel till is, it's just a plus. And uh, I will use a 0.22 millimeter uh, nylon. And uh, we'll start by taking the tag end of the nylon, insert it through the first eye here on the rod. And then we have to connect it to our spool. Uh, and I like to use a knot that is, it's called the arbor knot. It's simple and it's quick. There's a bunch of different knots out there. Uh, you can search it on the internet, but I like the arbor knot and I will show you how I do it. So we will start by making an overhand knot, a simple overhand, and tighten, tighten it down. Then put the line over the arbor itself, like this. And then you have two ends, the main line and the tag, tag end. So go under the main line, over both lines, and back in the loop like this. Take the tag end and just tighten it down towards the, the arbor. And I like to wet it down a little bit. And then you have to work both knots just together like this. Now you have, a, you have it secure and tighten up and it will hold and just trim off the tag end like this. So the next step is uh, to spool on the nylon. Uh, take your spool, the bucket of water, and just uh, throw it in. If you're home alone, it will stay safe. It will not run around. And the water helps, helps uh, actually to build up some tension in the line. Then uh, take the little piece of towel and drain it in the water. And uh, you will take the line in the towel this is so you don't burn your hand and after this we'll just start to reel uh, usually I'm yeah, maybe 30 40 meters of nylon I think that's enough the rest will be filled up with with braided lines so so we will cut off the nylon line uh, still keeping it inside the first eye here uh, now we have to connect the nylon with the braided line. And uh, same procedure here. There's a bunch of different knots. Uh, I'm using a double uni knot to connect the two lines together. And uh, I will show you how I do it. So when I'm doing a double uni knot, uh, I always take the braided line in my right hand and the nylon line in my left hand uh, for my own memory. So you will take the two tag ends and you will cross them over like this. Uh, and from the left side, I'm starting to make a loop. So I have two loops and I will take the braid, the braid line and I will go through both the loops five times. Just 
two, three, four, and five. Like this. And then I will just close the loop and tighten it together. So in the right end of these two lines, same procedure, make a loop. And now I will take the nylon end and go through both loops five or even even uh, ten times with the nylon it doesn't to be secure you can do it that so seven times and I'm closing it in the same way this now we have two knots in both ends and now you have to close it down together like this boom we will take the scissors and trim off trim off the ends there you are double uni this will hold so it's time to spool up the braid same procedure here throw it in the water to build up some tension and so it doesn't run away from you take your towel we will start to to wind it up this is what uh, we want to achieve make sure that you have the small space between the arbor edge and the braid to prevent too much line on the spool uh, so you want to get those bird nests or air knots while while casting we're ready guys uh, i hope you will take the opportunity to spool your own reels um, that i managed to help you out with this uh, video uh, we will do a lot more of videos and different tips and tricks uh, during the whole season so um, i hope to see you soon again perhaps on the water have a good week bye